Hey there. Mark here with Southern Sound Designs, and today we're going to learn about the use of snapshots on the Avid Venue SC48 console by DigiDesign. We will discuss opening the snapshots page, using the snapshot command buttons, and setting the scope within the snapshot. Snapshots give you the ability to store and recall a wide range of mixing parameters. A single show file can contain up to 999 snapshots, which can be controlled from the on-screen snapshots page or from the snapshot controls on the console. Once stored, snapshots can be recalled manually or automatically triggered by events or MIDI timecode. To open the snapshots window, click on the snapshots tab or press the snapshots button located on the console. To create a snapshot, press the new button in the command strip or use the keyboard shortcut by pressing Control N on your keyboard. Click on the recently created snapshot and click Recall. This recalls the targeted snapshot, updating the console to reflect the status of all scope data types and channels in the snapshot. This is also subject to the current recall safe settings. The new snapshot will be yellow indicating it is the current active snapshot. When the snapshot turns green, that indicates it is the last recalled snapshot. A red snapshot indicates the currently targeted snapshot, but blue indicates that the snapshot is part of a multiple snapshot selection, but not the last recalled or currently targeted snapshot. To select multiple snapshots, either hold shift on the keyboard and select the multiple snapshots, or press multi-select on the console. To change the name of your newly created snapshot, Simply double click it using the mouse and type the new name in the box and press enter. Now you can adjust the faders and mutes on all of your channels according to the current snapshot details. Decide what channels you want to recall on your snapshot. The red channels mean they will recall in your snapshot. A gray fader will not be recalled. Select the different features within your scope to determine what parameters you want to be recalled within the snapshot. Just like your faders, if the scope is in red, it will recall that feature within your snapshot. Those in gray will not. MIDI and plugins work differently. You have to tell them exactly which specific MIDI or plugin you want to recall. To do this, click the MIDI or plugin buttons to select what MIDI or plugins you want to add. The Notes section is useful for making notes according to your snapshot. Simply click in the Notes section to enlarge it. Type what you wish to say and click away to save it. The crossfade time tells how long you want your snapshot to take to be recalled. It does not affect your settings, but only the length of time the snapshot takes to recall. Once you have the snapshot details set, you will want to save it before advancing on. To save the snapshot, double click store or use the snapshot shortcut control S. The store feature stores the current state of the console in the targeted snapshot for all data types and channels. This will overwrite any existing data in the snapshot. The Disable feature temporarily disables all snapshot functions. Preview is an offline mode in which the console continues to process audio using its settings at the time preview is invoked, letting you recall, edit, and manage snapshots without affecting the current mix. If you're in the middle of a show, you can adjust snapshots using the preview mode without altering your live performance. You cannot edit plugin parameters in the preview mode. Recall recalls the targeted snapshot, updating the console to reflect the status of all scope data types and channels in the snapshot. It is subject to the current recall safe settings. Propagate is used for live mode. It lets you apply isolated changes to one or more snapshots at once such as updating a channel EQ across all snapshots or adjusting a fader position. Say a singer sings softer during rehearsal and then four decibels louder during her live performance, instead of going into each snapshot manually, you can adjust the singer's level over multiple snapshots all at once instead. The edit feature lets you adjust parameters freely and apply those changes to one or more snapshots. Changes can be applied in absolute or relative fashion. Absolute is similar to propagate. If a fader is at negative four decibels and you move it up four decibels to unity or zero on the console, it will move to unity on every snapshot. In relative mode, 
If you adjust the fader up four decibels from negative four decibels, it will only move the faders up the same amount of decibels that you moved the original fader. So for instance, if the fader is set at negative 10 decibels in another snapshot, it will move up four decibels to negative six decibels, instead of mimicking the main snapshot and moving to unity. The undo feature returns the console to its state before the last snapshot command. This function is there in case you accidentally store a snapshot and did not mean to. It allows you to undo that save, or if you accidentally recall a different snapshot during a live show and did not mean to, you can undo that and return back to the previous snapshot. Duplicate simply creates a copy of the selected snapshot. Clear clears the contents of the targeted snapshot, including the scope and channels. But, however, it does retain any associated MIDI timecode information. Delete deletes the targeted snapshots. The Chase MTC feature allows snapshots to be recalled when it sees a MIDI timecode. Go to the Options page, click the Snapshots tab, and click Read. Return to the Snapshots page, and you will see the timecode values. You can type in a specific timecode so that when the snapshot sees that timecode, it will recall that snapshot. You will need to turn on Chase MTC and then turn on MIDI timecode for each snapshot by clicking the green MIDI button. Recall Safe allows you to prevent any parameter of any channel from being recalled, even if it is scoped in the snapshot. Choose the input channel and the value you want to be recalled safe. You can recall safe the entire channel by clicking the green square or the triangle. So today we've covered opening the snapshots page, how to use the snapshot command buttons, and setting the scope within the snapshot. That's going to be a wrap for this video segment. You can visit www.southernsounddesigns.com and find more videos under the video archives link at the top of the page. Thanks for watching and be sure to look for more gripping instructional videos by Southern Sound Designs.